Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, October the 27th. Both here and at all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 27. The second note continued. The Third Order is a Christian community whose members, although varied in race, education, and character, are bound into a living whole through the love we share in Christ. This unity of all who believe in him will become, as our Lord intended, a witness to the world of his divine mission. In our relationship with those outside the order, we show the same Christ-like love and gladly give of ourselves, remembering that love is measured in sacrifice. O God, you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis and receive the gift of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. The Vanity Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 45. My heart is stirring with a noble song. Let me recite what I have fashioned for the king. My tongue shall be the pen of a skilled writer. You are the fairest of men. Grace flows from your lips, because God has blessed you forever. Strap your sword upon your thigh, O mighty warrior, in your pride and in your majesty. Ride out and conquer in the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. Your right hand will show you marvelous things. Your arrows are very sharp, O mighty warrior. The peoples are falling at your feet, and the king's enemies are losing heart. Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh, aloes, and cassia, and the music of strings from ivory palaces makes you glad. King's daughters stand among the ladies of the court. On your right hand is the queen, adorned with the gold of Ophir. Hear, O daughter, consider and listen closely. Forget your people and your father's house. The king will have pleasure in your beauty. He is your master, therefore do him honor. The people of Tyre are here with a gift. The rich among the people seek your favor. All glorious is the princess as she enters. Her gown is cloth of gold. In embroidered apparel she is brought to the king, and after her the bridesmaids follow in procession. With joy and gladness they are brought and enter into the palace of the king. In the place of fathers, O king, you shall have sons. You shall make them princes over all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered from one generation to another. Therefore nations will praise you forever and ever. Gracious God, your love unites heaven and earth in a new festival of gladness. Lift our spirits to learn the way of joy that leads us to your banquet hall, where all is golden with praise. We ask this through Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen.
the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. While he was saying this, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that nursed you. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. When the crowds were increasing, he began to say, This generation is an evil generation. It asks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Joah. For just as Jonah became a sign to the people of Nineveh, so the Son of Man will be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise at the judgment with the people of this generation and condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to listen to the wisdom of Solomon, and see, something greater than Solomon is here. The people of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the proclamation of Jonah, and see, something greater than Jonah is here. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it in a cellar, but on the lampstand, so that those who enter may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But if it is not healthy, your body is full of darkness. Therefore consider whether the light in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, with no part of it in darkness, it will be as full of light as when a lamp gives you light with its rays. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving Father, we give you thanks for the Church throughout the world. We give you thanks for the Anglican Communion, for the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We also give thanks today and pray for your guidance for our church leaders. For Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Mark, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. O Lord, guard and direct your Church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. Most especially today we pray for those places in the world where people are suffering because of warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters. Most especially, we pray for Sudan, Nigeria, Yemen, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, the Ukraine, and the United States. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those 
in our world and in our community that suffer from the effects of racism and prejudice. Those who are seen as less than simply because of the color of their skin, their customs, their language. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you will cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those today that suffer from the effects of poverty or homelessness, those who will struggle to find their daily bread, those who will struggle to find a safe place to shelter, Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who struggle with health issues today. We pray for those who are afflicted with COVID-19, for their families and friends, for those in our hospital or our nursing homes any that are awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addiction, or isolation. We also pray for and give thanks for those who work with the sick, with the hungry, with the forgotten. We pray for our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, for social workers and mental health workers, for researchers and scientists, for first responders. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. We hold up in prayer today those who are struggling in this time of pandemic. Those who are struggling economically. Those who are afraid to go to work or afraid to be at work. Those who are struggling to pay their bills, to feed their families. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Lastly, Heavenly Father, grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order this morning, we pray for the province of the Americas, for the Caribbean, for Costa Rica, Cuba, the Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Nevis, Trinidad and Tobago, and the Virgin Islands. And we pray, pray for Gloria, Kathy, Diane, Rivers, Anne, Joan, Elaine, Karen, Janet, Douglas, Holly, Stephen, Anne, Edward, Jandy, and Linda. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord God, our Redeemer, who heard the cry of your people and sent your servant Moses to lead them out of slavery, free us from the tyranny of sin and death, and by the leading of your Spirit, bring us to our promised land. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. 
Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.